Hi, in this video I will share with you a, a very useful Excel tips. So here I have a list, really a huge list. So what I want to know is that how can I, uh, in this list, how can I just extract the value in between this pair of options I want just only want to know the brand name, 2M, SEO, Accents, Error Pass, uh, and so on. So they are huge lists. Um, I heard it's like one way is that you can do it manually. So it's like copy it, paste it here copy it, paste it here, then copy, paste it here, there's a lot. So how to solve this? I ask myself, right, and there must be a better way. So I asked a, a Microsoft Office Specialist Google Group and this lady, Suya Munawa, right, you can find her on the LinkedIn. Uh, I gave her the recommendations because I learned from her. And so, how to solve that is that we select that cell, go to Find and Select, and click Replace. So, as you can see that the options and this, they are all paired with the open parentheses. So I just, uh, just uh, open, open arrow, right, and close the arrow. So this, this sign, right, great sign. So I mean, this one and this one and this. And this so you can see there is an up wherever there is this thing and there's this thing we want to in regards what is between that we use a an asteroid an asteroid to replace whatever that is between whatever word is found inside this pair will put a space right there okay so there's a spacey there's a space there and then we click, look at this magic file, or we just click find, uh, replace this first one. Oh yeah, I need to select the options. And then I click replace. See that? It replaced with the space. Now the next thing they want to do is go to uh, text column, and that is in data tab. Just text to column. I will just delimit it. Click next. Do the space. And do the tab. Click next. And this is important. If there are space, the if not the important column. Um do not import this column. You see that there's an empty space. So then click finish. And that's all. See? How cool is that? So now let's use the same trick. Apply to this. See if that works. Yeah? So just drag this out here. And do the same. Go to home. Find select. Replace. Paste all, so you can see that the name is right there. Click close and go to data tab, text to column, delimited. Click next again, in space next. This first column we want to re remove it next. Then the destination cell would be 
uh, would be somewhere um, I should say start with okay maybe G5 would be good because this leads here and then hit finish so there is a lease at the bottom of uh, G4 cell. Let's just get on G4 cell. Uh, G5, okay. So this particular entry for. Now from here, I want to select all the way to the last one. I can use Control Shift, uh, right key. So you can see here. And then I'll just Control C again, copy. Go back to my home cell. Uh, again, right here, right click, use the transpose key to transpose it. Right? So now I get a list of brands. So, how many of them here? Hmm. So I can just put the. Uh, I can list them. One, two, highlight is two and double click. So you just go to the last one is two in two hundred and fifth two hundred and fifth branch over. Yeah. So another way you can use that uh, of course you can use the count function. And that achieved the whole idea. Right. So, thanks for watching. Once again, thank you to the this uh, lady, Suya Munawa Hoffman. I hope this is useful to you, and thanks for watching. God bless you.